fun. Sit good deer, sit good deer. <laughs> going to you chop me off. Go, going, to, chop going to see what we can see. Maybe spot some goat. It's already past one o'clock, so we don't have a lot of time to hunt today. Got everything unpacked and got camp set up. Oh yeah, you can see it. But uh, we could be being a little quieter. So uh, they're gonna split up. I, Wes and I, I am deer in sight. Although uh, there's no point in me trying to zoom out the camera. It's very hard to see. You basically just see its butt. But we need to get a lot closer. So we're gonna make our way. Day two, weather was horrible last night. Rain bullets, howling wind, probably got gusts of up to 80 miles an hour, but uh, fog is starting to lift, starting to clear up. So we're gonna head out and see what we can see. Hopefully we'll have luck today. Beaver Dam. Uh, well, we're hiking about three miles, but uh, it's pretty darn foggy right now. Some blowing rain and low visibility. I'm guessing if I were a deer, I wouldn't be out wandering aimlessly in the fog. I'd probably be doing what we're doing right now. She's uh, waiting for this to blow over. What's that? Hiding. Hiding in the trees. That's probably what they're doing. Well, Wes forgot his rain jacket. He's got a puffy. But here comes the sun. Boiling off all the gloom, hopefully. We'll see. Still sprinkling on us. 
Well, the sun lost. Weather's getting progressively worse. It's blowing more and it's raining more. So, yeah, we might start meandering back. I just don't see how we're gonna be able to spot stock deer in this. Now it looks like a sow. I don't think this camera can pick it up. Need a better camera? Let's do it. I can't get it to work. <laughs> Wes is attempting the makeshift doe call, mainly because we've seen no deer today. A lot of deer sign. We saw several brown bear, but um, you know it's it's a pretty area. It's just uh, frustrating because we know there's got to be deer here. We just don't know what we're missing. Oh man, if I was a deer, I'd be running so fast toward that. <laughs> <laughs> and you warm your hands up if it doesn't work. If I was a bear, on the other hand, I'd be running fast, so Here fast toward that. I'm like, oh boy, I can't, I can't wait to kill whatever that sound is. There we go, Bob just got back in the dark. Matt got a beautiful deer, which I'm gonna go videotape a very nice four by four, um, high too. So Bob caped it for him. These boys are exhausted. We're gonna be eating soon here. Well, as you can see, it is dark and rainy. Has not stopped raining. Um, pickings have been pretty slim, but Matt's deer is very impressive. That's gonna be a uh, a deer that's going to make the books. You don't get a much bigger black-tailed deer than that, both in terms of body, which, um, you know, it had to have been a more than 150-pound deer, but also the uh, the antler size. A pretty, pretty impressive animal, so that gives us some renewed hope, but the weather is just terrible, as you could probably guess. It's um, approaching, approaching 8 o'clock, but still completely dark, low ceiling, pouring rain. Um, we're gonna see if we can, you know, push out. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll lift. Maybe uh, Wes and I can get up and get on some goat. Although we have not spotted them <laughs> yet, and so it's a complete gamble. All right, we're heading out to see what we can see. Pretty foggy and nasty, but uh, it's like fishing. Can't catch anything if your line's not in the water. We'll see what happens.
where they Never have I seen so many moths in Kodiak. They're just absolutely everywhere. It's been nonstop terrible weather, but they are just flocking out of the brush. More moths. Everywhere. The rare ever elusive double rainbow. We may have had no success at all with deer or goat, but uh, we saw a double rainbow. So, yeah, arguably worth it. Steady your breathing. You've got all the time in the world. Get him right behind and above the shoulder. Just right, right where the elbow is. The elbow basically covers the heart. Just take your time. Remember to pause your breathing. Squeeze the trigger. Don't hold your breath, just pause your breath. Just relax. You hit it. Well, it's not the mightiest of deer. But it's going to be tasty. It's a little button buck. It's got two antler buds on the sides of its head. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, that was a good shot. You get it butchered up and hung. Well, you got to start somewhere. And uh, Wes got that button buck. We got it hung up in a tree. We're gonna keep hunting. It's not a lot of weight. We can get another deer and pack them both back. Um, weather turned, as it always seems to do. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Three super big cubs, just big cubs. plump cubs with white collars running around out there. I don't know where mom is, but she's probably close by. Those are probably the same bears that Matt ran into at 15 yards, and they luckily ran away from him. See those three black dots moving out there? One more video of the three bears. We actually think that's mom at the lead, big cub in the middle, and a smaller cub from behind. So maybe it's a different sow with cubs. Sure are a lot of bears in Kodiak. It's 
almost like it's it's almost like it's what Kodiak's known for, so yeah. I think so. Yeah. seen birds like that before in Alaska. Interesting. Yeah. We are, we are just stuck in an alder choked hell, so we gotta get out of here. But that was cool to see. I was feeling side. spooky, the hairs on my back, the back of my neck were standing up. I just, it's like I could see a deer, but I couldn't see a deer. And we uh, spooked a big buck up from the brush, dropped my pack, laid down on it. Scope was nice and fogged, started running. Wes had his sights on it too, and I was able to squeeze off a shot right as it entered the scope. And it must have been a hard shot because it went down immediately, but uh, it's somewhere up there. It's on that ledge there. Let's, uh, oh, geez, let's go take a look. Miserable day, but that's, uh, that's about ready to snow. That's about ready to snow. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's two deer down. So, good problem to have. What time is it? Two o'clock. You'd never guess, but this miserable <laughs> uh, London at its worst looking weather is just two o'clock on uh, Kodiak. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. James Buck. Nice one. That's it's super wide. That's a big black tail deer. Really good shot, James. Animal. Body. Beautiful deer, time to start cleaning it. Yeah. But yeah, it's snowing. It's snowing, <laughs> it's snowing and cold. Okay. Oh, there's some big snowflakes. And there's the sun. There's the sun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do something. Do something. <laughs> the sun. The sun has not has not done us any favors on this trip. None. But uh, I think. I think nature and the Almighty have, so you can't complain when you get that kind of success. Oh boy, Alaska's an amazing place.
I think we're all done with that. Uh, my phone died during, <laughs> doing the uh, time lapse video of the butchering. The sun did peek out a little bit. We've got just about all of our layers on. We'll start uh, hiking back. We're going to stay high and uh, hopefully in a couple of hours, if we're lucky, <laughs> we'll get back to camp and uh, go from there. At least it's not snowing anymore. It's not snowing anymore. Well, all packed up with James Big Buck. Heading back to camp. Trying to stay above tree line. There's James. This big buck on his back. Hey, I'll get there. It'll probably take us three, four hours. What? What's the matter, James? You're gonna have to leave me behind. Uh oh. Can't make it any farther. Shoot. Jump on my back. I got you. I saved one bullet for myself before the bears get me. We're making good time. Majestic skyline, skyline chicken of Alaska, the proud ptarmigan. There's, more up there. There's a whole bunch of them. We saw some that have been murdered by golden eagles earlier. When you see nothing but a uh, pile of feathers and <laughs> a lot of ptarmigan poop, yeah. and there's no trace of it, it's probably an eagle. Really couldn't have worked out better. You just picked a plan. <laughs> And stuck with it, I guess. Uh, still pretty high up. I'll well, just stay right here. I couldn't, I couldn't catch the actual fall, but I, I made Wes stay there so that you all could enjoy it. Get up, Wes. Get up. Oh, we got deer to pack out. All right, so last night Bob got a nice buck. So we have four deer hanging, going out, hopefully to get Wes a nicer one today. We'll see what happens. Snowshoe hair, it all turned white. I don't even know if I caught that. Hard to pick up, that one still has some brown on it. Gotcha. Yeah, it's deep, man.
country. Got a lot of good options. spooked a huge buck. It just peeked over this ridge. I'm making this video partially so I can review it. It ran right up over that ridge. You need to check the wind when you get higher than him and try to come down. Hopefully he doesn't run too far. Oh, he, he, he slowed down at the top. When I got down it didn't look like he felt like he was in danger anymore. And he slowed down but that's a that's a big white buck man. Yeah. Shoot. Buck is uh, nowhere to be found, which is disappointing. Probably just kept running, probably just kept getting elevation. Uh, we're gonna hike back. We got three or four miles to hike back. We're just gonna take it slow and keep hunting. So you never know, luck might change. Well, we're in some pretty vertical stuff. About 1600 feet up. Did not get the big buck, but on the other hand, trying to side hill back with heavy packs would have been pretty challenging. Probably have to go to the brush down there.
actually blown off the mountain. That had to have been just sustained 80, 90. It just, it wasn't gusting, it was just, it's still going on that side of the ridge. Just, uh, every day Kodiak, I guess. That's a Wes. Pretty rare to see one of these in their natural habitat. <laughs> Only dangerous if kept out in really horrible weather for no reason other than to prattle on. To walk around <laughs> aimlessly. Oh, there he is. Yo. Little ermine. Oh, he got some of our scraps. Standing up, you can see his head poking out. There he is. It might be a sow. I don't know, man. He's got that pointy nose, man. It's a big head. Angular, pointy nose. You can see the head right there again. Make a circle. Well, we got it. We got to park the boat right there. So, two bald eagles in the trees. A large nest. See if that brown barrel come out again. Well, we got a buck way, way up there. We're gonna go try to get. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch him. Little baby. Two big boys. Well, big boy, big girl, and a juvenile eagle. about 640 yards from the deer by the time we get all the way up there. He should be within shooting range. Oh, he's close now. We don't know where this point is here. He should be right there. But we can uh, see this deer. It's fair to say that the luck and the weather in Kodiak is relatively inconsistent. Well, it's the nature of the place. Thank you. 
some Kodiak. Bob got an early late run silver. Dad, I'm gonna leave my pack and my gun back there. Well, Kodiak, first cast. Looks like a nice dolly, I'm guessing, from those little spots. Pretty fish. Good eating. There, once again, Kodiak provides. It's a big Big dolly, I think again. That's two. I think one more and uh, we should have ourselves a nice, nice dinner. Well, I think, I think we're, here, hold it sideways, Bob, turn it that way. I think we're, I think we're done. Bob got a huge rainbow. I'd say it's time to get going. I'm not sure what he means, but it's nonsense. Got some fish last night. Couldn't get Wes a deer. He went out with Bob this morning and we got a late start. We're gonna walk up on him and see if they've had success or if they've been able to spot some deer. Maybe we can get him a nicer buck. shot so we're hopeful that Bob and Wes found success we'll find out hopefully we'll be helping them pack out a uh, deer we'll see Pretty huge buck. Giant bases on that. Clearly didn't shed its antlers. Something got it. Well, Wes almost got a deer again today. Just was not in the carts for him, unfortunately. Given the uh, weather outlook and given that we need to get home and get back to our. Uh, responsibilities and our families. I think we're gonna be calling it. Should be a 10 a.m. pickup tomorrow. It's been uh, a really great trip. I'm very thankful for deer. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a successful trip. And for Matt to have his first black tail deer he's ever taken be uh, clearly a record book deer. deer. That's, that's a big deal. You know, Bob's in his 70s and he got a very nice buck. And uh, I was also blessed with a very large buck. And Wes got his first deer ever. Um, you know, a small button buck, but it was his first deer ever. So he was successful as well. And catching that, uh, catching those fish, that was just kind of icing on the cake. So good trip. We'll be out of here tomorrow.